Welcome back, Livecast uh, people. It's uh, backyard day number two. We're doing things on uh, bread like tortilla ish kind of things. You! I believe Monday, after we had that ridiculous Asian carne style taco that I couldn't stop eating, that Max could not stop eating, uh, I promised we were going to do like a quesadilla with onion. And so that's what we're going to do. Let's start, shall we? I don't have a knife. Wow. <laughs> really? How is this possible? This is what happens. How is this possible that I don't even have a knife? Well, God. Uh, you guys remember this place, don't you? Look at it. What a mess. By the way, so Brad, my manager, just showed up with just a shit ton of Jersey Mike's. And I'm going to be, look at, look at the decimation here. Look at me. I'll be 100% honest with you. I'm not a sub guy. I don't like subs. I never go to subs. And Brad's always been like, oh, Jersey Mike's, Jersey Mike's, Jersey Mike's. I go, I'm not, I don't, I'm not into it. I'm not going to go. So he brought them. And he brought, uh, what the are Italian, they? Italian, the 13, the original Italian. The original Italian, the... Uh, the number nine, which the is number roast nine. beef, uh, turkey, a uh, little bacon. Roast beef, turkey, bacon. And then this freaking monster. What is that? That's what we call a, a big kahuna cheesesteak. Uh, cheesesteak with, uh, let's just put it, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Honestly, this this stupid cheesesteak thing is, is one of the best things I've eaten in a long time. Because it's not just the sweet from like, you know, the beef cooking and the cheese. The jalapeno takes it to just a whole nother ridiculously delicious, moist, tender place. This is not a commercial for Jersey. Oh, no, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, All right, let's I'm, get back I'm, to our stuff. I'm taken with Focus. it. Focus. <laughs> Focus. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to start just by cutting some onion nice and thin. Now Max right now is thinking, why didn't he have this already cut up? Why do we need to sit here and watch him cook onion because we do and I'm gonna do it in here in this little pan yes I could do it on top of uh, on top of the um, Evo which is the obvious place to do it but we're gonna add a little um, barbecue sauce to it and I want it to be contained within that. Oh god, I've got onion on my finger. That looks creepy. Alright, so we got our onion, right? This thing is very hot. We'll see you guys now. Right. Can just throw a little bit more onion in there? I just gotta make sure that I have enough for the... I just keep popping onion. The <laughs> Okay, so so edit the edit the fucking on. episode and then you can cut all this out. Gosh. FYI, never work with your family. It's terrible. <laughs> Ever. Okay, so this onion is now just softening. I put a little bit of oil in here. That's it. You just want this soft. Run away on you. All right, good. Tiny bit more oil. And a little salt and pepper that I have already mixed right here. We good? Great. I almost have nothing to do actually <laughs> until that cooks. I mean, I feel I feel bad about it. I want this to be more complicated, but I can't make it more complicated. I apologize. It's all right. We'll be right back. Yep. All right. So look at our onions, beautifully softened. I don't need them brown. They're still just a little translucent. That's what I want. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna add 
Uh, wait, before I do that, let me just cut a piece of Gouda. Smoked Gouda. They're beautiful. The, the, the smoked cheese is just, it's just fantastic. So I'll get rid of this rind because I don't need it. But now I do need a little pile of this. So we'll put it right here. Oh yeah. Oh. Give me some of that Gouda. How good is it? It's just I love, I love the smokiness of it. It's got a very distinct yep. smell and taste. Okay, so what is that? That's enough. Yeah. Hey, it's my recipe, you don't know. <laughs> what are you saying yes for? You don't know how much is enough. All right, so that's done. To the onions, we're gonna add a little barbecue sauce. One tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoons. And now we'll mix this. And let this just do its thing here for a minute. Wow. Uh, barbecue saucy onions. Just tremendous. Nice. Good? Oh yeah. All right, now here's what I'm using. I could use little quesadillas, but I have this um, pita bread that I bought the other day that's starting to dry a bit and getting a little effed up. But I think I can salvage one of these guys. Okay. Oh shit, that was hot. Uh, let me just do this. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna make a little sour cream for this quesadilla with sour cream and some chipotle. Yeah. So I'm not gonna bother chopping one up. I'm gonna just use the sauce from here. Just get it in here. We've already got the smokiness from the Gouda, but now we're gonna have the smokiness from the Chipotles, which is just even better. Smoke central, all good. That's mixed. Look at the onions are doing their thing beautifully right there. Okay, those guys are good. I can take them off. I can put them right here. So now we flip it over, we've got now heat. So here's what we're gonna do. We take a little bit of the smoked Gouda. We really only need to go one side because we're gonna do a halfer. Oh, I should go this way. So we've got some of the smoked Gouda here. Now we take our onions. This is gonna be stupid. By the way, I forgot something and went back inside to get it. Had another bite of one of those subs. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sorry for this. They're addicting. They're completely addicting. Okay, good, good. More Gouda. Let's turn this all the way down. In a quesadilla, you use your cheese like glue, right? Now we'll just take this, lift it over. Hope it sticks. Of course you could use regular tortilla, but I had these. I wanna take advantage of what I've got. One quick flip. There's your benefit side. And now we mix the sour cream. We put some right there. Yeah, we gotta deal with this light because we got major. This is like the worst time. This is the worst right time now, to shoot. Whatever. The next time we shoot out here, I think should be nighttime. 
Let's take this. Wow. wow. Look at that. Dude. That's massive. And then we cut. Beautiful, the crunch. It's all about the crunch. So now we'll throw these guys on here. Uh, yes, vegetarian. Uh, could you put chicken in this too? Of course. Could you put leftover steak in this too if you wanted? Yes, there'd be no problem. But I think sometimes it's nice just to have something like this. And then we take a bite. That looks it's hot. hot. It's gonna be <laughs> hot. Fuck. <laughs> but, mm. Let me tell you this, just as the gardeners start up two yards away. The combination of the sweet yellow onion and the barbecue sauce is ridiculous. What I didn't have was any of the chipotle for just a little bit of spice and a little bit of cool moisture from... Oh my God. All right. Please. I know, I sound like a broken record. Make it, make it, make it. That's all I ever say. But you gotta make it. All right. From my new system pavers backyard, from the new Evo, from the, 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 the caliber girl, from everything out here, you can do this in a pan inside. You don't need this setup. I mean, if you've got it, then by all means use it. But if you don't have it, everything I do, you can do inside or on a grill. You could totally do it on a grill. All right, that's it. Uh, we're back again Friday with uh, another thing in a bread-like substance that comes from out here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Remember what we say. Max, what do we say? Don't eat shitty food. Don't eat shitty food. <laughs> nice job. All right, see ya.